Welcome to World War II Online Tutorials, how to set up your track IR. By now you should have already purchased your track IR setup. Um, you want to have your cameras, either if you're using the reflective clip that goes on the bill of your baseball cap, you want the camera in the center to get your full range of motion. Or if you're using the pro clip rather than a reflector, the pro clip transmits its own infrared. So therefore you want the camera to be lined up on the side of your monitor so that you have your full range of motion visible. If it's in the center and you turn your head to the left, you're going to get cut off. So you want to make sure it's lined up. Uh, so essentially, you got that. So you're going to go ahead and have your software loaded. Double click. If it doesn't open up on the screen, which in my case, I always have it reduced or um, minimized. So I go over here to the drop down, right click and maximize. Now you can see there's already a program in here right now. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that program. So I'm going to unclick exclusive. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm going to remove this profile and it's going to come up with the default setting for this particular game. If you go to here and you look at Battleground Europe, which is this one right there. Um, which is World War II Online. It used to be called Battleground Europe, but it's now just World War II Online. But the Track IR people um, um, haven't updated the, that particular title. But it's it's at the default setting. Now you, I also have some other ones in here, but I'm going to show you how to set your own profile. So we're going to go back to the profiles. We're going to say a the plus sign for create a new profile. We're going to go World War to one moment there we go world war two it's hard to do this one-handed online i'm going to save now they have um oh and you can see here the profile is really rudimentary because you have the uh this uh line is this flat line so it's it's not really going to do a whole much in fact if you go to your pitch setting it's also flat line so it's it's not going to do anything so what you want to do is go into first your center key here they have f12 so if you're off to the side or whatever you can center it or if you want to get it because sometimes it, you know you've bumped your keyboard or in this case my laptop sitting on top of my flight yoke and um so I, i'm always bumping it and knocking it around so what i do is um uh, since I use F12 for other things, I'm going to change that to the backslash key because that's not being used by anything in the game per se. So, um, and then I'm going to save that. So this title now has backslash as, as its default key for centering. Okay. Now, uh, you want to set your yaw and your pitch. So first off, go down here and pull that down and get it as low as you can um, you don't want a big uh, hesitation like a lot of times if you've seen the the, the uh, what do you call it um, default setting uh, there's this big hesitation when you reach the center that's because they got the, some of these dots all just piled up down here side by side and down real low move it up in the box and overlap these so that there is no hesitation when you if you move them apart and like this you'll see there's kind of this uh, and it just kind of stops and I'm accentuating it a little bit because they're exaggerating it a little bit because I'm, you know, stopping my head. But that's it, it happens and it's very irritating. So I overlap them like so. And I just come up here and make a gentle climb or curve. It can be a curve or a um, V. And the reason why I, I do this and come out away from the central column is that when I'm turning and looking off to the side, in fact, sometimes I kind of arc this down a little bit. When I'm looking off to the side and I want to go, you know, like if you watch the head turn, I go 90 degrees to my left. So um, here, let's center that and watch the, the head turn. So if I turn 90 degrees or even back a little bit, I want to be able to see the screen and I want to be able to stay focused on whatever it is I'm looking at without without it, you know, going all over. Right. So uh, by pulling it away from the central uh bar here that's going to slow it down as you get further and further out if you have it in really tight you know real vertical like like this uh, it's going to be you, you and you're trying to focus on something it's going to be going yeah all over the place because uh it, it uh <laughs> it it's just 
you want it to be uh, smooth as much as possible. Okay. Okay. So we've done that for the uh, vertical. Let's go with the pitch. The pitch is your up and down. So again, we're going to pull this down here. And we're going to pull this up like so. Overlap. And then so that it's smooth, we're going to keep it approximately the same distance between here and there and here and there. And again, I'm going to have it come out at an angle so that it slows down the further I get out there and so I'm not bouncing all over the place. Okay? And then save. Next, uh, you want to go to your titles. Go back down here to World War II Online. Click and set up your profile that you just did. Go back and save. And then, uh, again, you have your smoothness. Uh, if this is way down here, you see that is not very smooth. So you want to have this up in this range. Uh, there's, I have like a, they're like little signals going through my, my system and uh, interferes. So to get rid of that, you can smooth it out. Uh, secondly, speed, like I was showing you before, that is too much speed. <laughs> and you won't be able to stay focused on whatever it is you're looking at. So I just use the one-to-one -one ratio and uh, that's that's the easiest uh, one to use, okay? So if I move, move, that's it. Um, and again, save. Again, if you're using a reflective clip, you want to tell the software that you're using a reflector. When you click that, you'll see four little red lights pop on inside the, the, the camera face, and that's indicating that the infrared is being transmitted from the camera, reflecting and then going back. But I use the Pro Clip, which transmits its own infrared, and so I click that, and again, I save. And then to make sure that nothing changes or gets interrupted, I make sure I hit exclusive and save. And then that way, if you see this, this is whited out or it's no longer bold or whatever. Therefore, uh, it, there isn't going to be, shouldn't be any major changes or anything going on that um, can cause problems. You have other things like these templates. You got one-on-one, uh, -on -one, dead zone, smooth, fast, slow, all that kind of stuff. But what I just did basically just is what you want to have okay now you have to the next thing you have to do is connect this to the game but don't close this what you got to do is keep it operating in the background so I just minimize it to uh, my uh, my taskbar and um, and then I want to start the game now uh, because I don't want to jump into the game while I'm doing this and, and you know maybe get shot <laughs> or bombed or whatever, I just go to practice offline. I do the setting things up is always best done uh, in practice offline mode. That way you don't end up wasting equipment because equipment is actually manufactured. Uh, they have tickets that the fa the factories make, and then if you're in there. Uh, trying out to do these different things, learning how to fly, learning how to drive, whatever. Um, you're wasting equipment that needs to be used by other people so that they can you know, win the game. So I go to practice offline for all this stuff. And um, uh, and then while, while this is setting up, <clears throat> there's one of the things they have is views for looking around is the uh, N key. When you hit N, then you use your mouse. It's called the mouse look. And um, you're using the, the, the mouse to move back and forth and to look around so that uh, and then when you hit the end key it'll lock back into where you were looking you know as an infantryman whatever however with a track IR you bypass the mouse and so you can just use your head which is more natural and um, and uh, so I'm gonna go to a fighter for example P38 well, that's the first one that pops up so I don't care and so again nothing's happening um, let's pull up the key mapper you can either uh, turn on the map which is the letter M, go to your key mapper, or I'm going to go back, to turn that off, or you can go to uh, P on your keyboard, and that brings you straight into the key mapper without uh, looking at the map, so it bypasses the map. You're going to go to Views. This will be clear, and this will be clear, and that won't be there either. The only thing you're going to have is going to be this letter N. Now, for your mouse look, of course, you can use mouse and uh, double click, and you know, this is this is what it would look like. So I'm using the mouse, and using the mouse, it's double clicked, and I'm moving the mouse back and forth and up and down. So that's what your keyboard or what your key mapper is going to look like. But uh, rather than using the N, and let's see, save that, and 
there we go so that's using my mouse and that's a little bit more difficult to you know while you're flying and trying to look and uh, I mean it's it, it's very responsive but it is really difficult to kind of kind of do and still be able to ma uh, maneuver things uh, but it is handy uh, you know, I mean like a, uh, especially if you're an infantryman down on the ground and that sort of thing but for me what I like to do is of course to track IR so I'm gonna double click and move my head left and right double click up and down and I like to have uh, a key on my joystick so I'm gonna double whoop, double click and then I use one of my hat keys and then make sure I save all of that so now because I there there I turned it off or if I hit N turn it back on and so you can see I can look look around I can look behind look behind my airplane whatever I'm doing um, that's all there is to it I've saved it and uh, now I'm ready to go thank you for watching World War II online tutorials on how to set up your track IR